I'm back! I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. Today we're going to be jumping into the next phase of Marvel, mm -hmm. and it's the start of spooky season. I'm Constance. And I'm Jess. And you're tuning into Tango Talks, where we answer your burning question, how was that movie? Spoiler free. Today we're going to be talking about Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings and the Night House. Now showing at the Micronesian Mall Stadium Theatres. Let's get into the next phase of Marvel with Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So with this one, we see Shang-Chi, the master of Kung Fu. You guys already know what I think about it. Yeah, so after seeing Constance's review about this, I was like, okay, I really got to see this movie. But let me just, you know, reiterate what this movie is about. So this one's an origin story about a... Uh, and I forgot it was an origin story. Yeah. No, I mean, like, it's okay. Because, like, this one I really love. So Shang-Chi... He's I the father. Yes, he would or, love it. <laughs> he's the son of Wen Wu, who is um, the leader of this ter terrorist organization, mm -hmm. also known as the Ten Rings. We've seen the Ten Rings in the past Marvel movie. I think it was Iron Man that he, the Ten Rings was last in. Yeah, because they were the ones that kidnapped him. So yeah, so <laughs> that was the last time we see about the Ten Rings. And with this one, it's more not following about the organization, but it's following about the son who um, was kind of forced into this lifestyle of Kung Fu. Yep. And then he escapes a little bit, you know, has his own life. Ten years later, after escaping from this lifestyle, he's brought back into it by his father. Yep, yep. And then now it's this whole thing about him fighting his father and then trying to get the um, Ten Rings. So, you were right. I really love this movie. Like, it was so action-packed. It was yep. all about Kung Fu. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really, like, care about, like, Kung Fu movies like Jackie Chan. Or, like, I haven't seen any of those. Guys, if you're <laughs> craving, if you were craving... This is this movie made me realize I was craving for a martial arts movie. Mm -hmm. You know, it, there hasn't been one in a while in theaters. And Marvel did really well with this. Mm -hmm, they really did. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I've never seen a Kung Fu movie. Or, like, if I have, it's been a really long time. So this one was super refreshing to see. We see a little bit of the regular combat style that we're so used to. Yep. But with this one, it was so refreshing to see the martial arts in this. And honestly, like, Aquafina and Simu Liu did a really good job in this film. Like, ugh. It, they added that comedic effect that Marvel just has to have in their films. Because uh -huh. they have some seriousness in it. But, you know, they gotta have it a little fun. It always reels you back in. Yeah. Aquafina did so well in her movies this year. And this one was so interesting to see her in. Because, like, there's a dragon in this one. And then there was a dragon in the last one. So it's like... Yeah. <laughs> she loves dragons or something, but Marvel loves her with dragons. Yeah. But yeah, this one was so funny because, like, it's it's Asian, you know? We're Asian, so... It's, it's the first Asian, Asian superhero, honestly, yeah. in Marvel. And I'm interested to see where they're going to take this with um, Spider-Man No Way Home coming out in December and The Eternals coming out in November. And then Morbius coming out next year. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. So, yeah, we hope to see you guys for that one, and we hope to see you guys soon for this one. Tango Talks is brought to you by Take Care. Give Guam employees, retirees, and survivors the FY 2022 dental plan will be self-insured by Gov Guam and administered by the other carrier. You can enroll for the dental plan independent of your medical plan choice. Contrary to the rumors, you absolutely don't have to enroll for the other carrier's medical plan to get the dental. If you want Take Care Medical and or the Gov Guam Dental, enroll through Take Care. Open enrollment is September 1st through the 25th. For more information, go to TakeCareAsia.com or call 671-649-0468. Take Care, our island, your health plan. We'd like to give a special thank you to our sponsor, the Guam Daily Post. For the latest movie schedule and local headlines, pick up a copy of the Guam Daily Post. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more spoiler-free movie reviews. Okay, guys, so I'm glad I started my spooky season with the Night House. I know Jez and Alfie, I'm glad you guys loved Alfie. You know yeah. what I mean? He did a really great <laughs> job while I was gone, but I'm back. Let us know if you want him to come back mm -hmm. in some other future episodes. But yeah, these guys started off with Candyman. Mm -hmm. I started off with the Night House. Guys, I love the Night House. I love anything psychological horror. Mm -hmm. I believe in ghosts. Yeah. So you follow Rebecca Hall, mm -hmm. who plays Beth. Um, she's grieving, she's depressed, she just recently lost her husband in the movie, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. he committed suicide. Yeah. So, she's living alone in their house. Yeah. And, you know, she's missing her husband, mm -hmm. she's hearing, seeing things. Yeah, so she starts to go through his stuff and then find out a little bit about his, um, secret past. Exactly. And it's like, 
Like, it, th th that's such a crazy thing to do, you know what I mean? Like, like you're still grieving, and, like, you go through his stuff, and you find this whole, like, secret life that you never knew he had. But, like, everyone has their secrets. But this one was just so crazy and out there, because it's not just, like, your regular secret, like, oh, he had, like, a baseball team that I never knew about. It's, it's like, she finds this schematic for, uh, this, the exact same house, but reverted, like... He built a mirror house. Yeah. But, like, you guys have to watch the movie to find out why. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Rebecca Hall did really great in portraying her grieving, mm -hmm. her emotions. And, you know, horror films, people think jump scares, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, whoever did the her, audio, the, the music in okay. this movie yeah. really helped. Build it up. Yes. Yeah, build up the tension because, like, there was this one point in the movie where I jumped really hard. I accidentally hit my friend in the face. But it was such a good jump scare, you know what I mean? That really got me because the suspense buildup was really there. And it's interesting because this one's not your typical horror movie. This one's different from Candyman. This one's not like a legend of something. This one um, gets rid of the fine line between um, inner demons or actual demons. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I know I watch Saw Spiral by myself. <laughs> I watched this movie by myself, and I literally had to leave. <laughs> she thought someone I was... I thought I could do it, but there was... I thought someone was like... And I was sitting in the back. Mm -hmm. So I heard something in the back, and I'm like, let me just take my stuff and walk out. But I finished the movie. I came she back, went back in. <laughs> I came back to finish the movie because it was so good. It was really good. And honestly, this is just like something that you have to see in theaters. Yep. Yeah, because it's now showing at the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theater, so get your tickets before it leaves. Bring a friend, don't watch alone. Yes, please. <laughs> also now showing at the Micronesia Mall Stadium Theaters, we have Candyman, The Protégé, Paw Patrol The Movie, and Free Guy. We also have The Suicide Squad, Disney's Jungle Cruise, and Black Widow. Save the date for Friday, September 10, as we will be featuring Show Me the Father, Card Counter, and the next movie for this spooky season, Malignant. Our snack bar is now open, so grab your popcorn, Pepsi, and nachos on your way in. Don't forget to bring in your Alpha Big Bucket, refill it, and receive a dollar off your purchase. Also bring back any of our 76 Circle K Filler Up Cups and refill them for $7. $3 for your drink and $4 for your popcorn. Start your week right with Military Mondays and Bargain Tuesdays. On Military Monday, all active duty, reserved, and veterans receive a discount at both our box office and snack bar at Tango Theaters. Just show your military ID and we'll show you our gratitude. Stop on by Bargain Tuesdays where movies are only $7.75 all day, any movie. And all our popcorn sizes are 50% off. Thursdays are premiere nights, so log on to www.tangotheaters.com to find out the latest schedules and buy your tickets for premiere night. End your week right with Thursday Madness, where it's $6 for movies on their last day. Check out our Facebook page and Instagram to find out what movies will be on Thursday Madness. And that's a wrap. We'll see you at the movies. Bye, guys, and stay safe out there.